The food you put inside your body can make a big difference to how well you feel during and after treatment. A healthy balanced diet contains a variety of foods from different food groups. Aim to eat plenty of fruits and vegetables as well as carbohydrates. Ideally these should be the whole grain varieties because of their fibre content. But if you're struggling with your digestion you may find the white varieties better. Have a smaller amount of protein and a small amount of good oils such as olive oil and butter. Currently there isn't enough information for us to say whether you should eat certain foods to reduce the risk of cancer returning. What we do know is that following a nourishing, healthy, balanced diet is the best way to keep your whole body healthy. Keeping as fit as you can by taking regular exercise and maintaining a healthy weight can also help to reduce the risk of cancer coming back. The short answer is yes. Freezing doesn't make foods less healthy, and in fact freezing preserves many of their vitamins and minerals. It can make healthy eating more economical and practical. Adding frozen vegetables to soup or making a pesto with frozen broad beans to go with pasta can be a quick and easy way of boosting your fibre day. Frozen berries are wonderful to add to smoothies or to make a quick crumble with a whole grain oaty topping. For most people, a balanced diet provides all the nutrients they need. If you find this difficult, you may benefit from a specific mineral or vitamin supplement. If your doctor or dietitian thinks you're lacking in certain minerals or vitamins, they will suggest which supplement may be best for you to take. Please note that some supplements interfere with cancer treatments, making them less effective. Always get advice from your cancer specialist before taking supplements. And bear in mind that taking supplements does not reduce the risk of cancer. Research has not yet shown that eating an organic diet is more effective than non-organic at stopping cancer coming back. Some people may worry that pesticides used in farming could cause cancer. In the UK, a pesticide can only be used once it's been tested for safety and laws ensure that they need to be used within a safe level. Current advice is to wash fruit and vegetables before you use them. This removes pesticides as well as harmful bacteria. Studies have shown that eating lots of red and processed meat may increase the risk of bowel cancer. The risk seems to be highest if you eat two or more portions of red or processed meat a day. Your risk is lowest if you eat less than two portions a week. If you eat a lot of red meat, you may need to reduce the amount, but it is fine to have a small amount as part of your balanced diet, as it's a good source of protein. Processed meats have less nutrients and can be high in fat and salt, so it's best to choose unprocessed meat instead. There have been conflicting stories in the news about whether it's safe to eat dairy when you have cancer. Research studies have found no clear links between diets high in dairy and cancer. So for now, there's no reason not to include it in your diet, as dairy is a brilliant source of protein, calcium and vitamins. But it's important to remember that dairy can be high in fat, so you may want to opt for some of the lower fat options, such as skim milk instead of full cream, or ricotta cheese instead of cream cheese. If you choose a dairy-free diet, you need to make sure you have enough calcium from other foods in your diet. Sugar does not directly increase your risk of cancer or encourage it to grow. However, it's best to limit your sugar as too much can lead to weight gain and other health conditions such as diabetes. Sugar can be a useful source of energy, but it doesn't contain beneficial nutrients. You can usually get the energy you need from healthier foods and delicious sweetness from amazing fresh fruits. Some people may worry whether coffee increases the risk of developing cancer, but there is not enough evidence to support this. However, some people may find that tea and coffee upsets their stomach whilst having treatment. It might be best just to have a couple of cups a day and instead try herbal infusions such as fresh mint or chamomile tea, which can usually be gentle on the gut. Also think about what time of day works best for you to enjoy your coffee.